Howdy folks, it's Tall Churl here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are three quarters of the way done with the Pyrenees Excursion Bush Trip. One leg to go, which is the shortest leg of the trip so far. And it looks like a nice easy airport to land on. And there's snow in the pictures, but we haven't had snow so far. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So we'll find out at the end of this leg how long this trip has taken us. I say that, I bring it up, because it's supposed to take two and a half hours. And we're already over two and a half hours and we have another leg to go. So I'm curious to see what the final time is, so here we go, let's get flying. Alrighty, repair and refuel like usual, let's hop outside and see where we are. Yeah, we got <laughs> We're going to back taxi, or back taxi that way, or just go this way and take off. Maybe we'll go this way so we can circle back and get some altitude. I think wind is not a consideration in the bush trips, except for the Patagonia one. That one you really had to be careful about wind but you don't any of the others so here we go let's um zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on there we go all right um we've been having issues with the navigation it's been all wrong in terms of the description so what we were able to do in the last leg is we looked at the heading and the timing and the topic of the poi and that's been working but we don't know anything about the pois because it doesn't tell you See, this was last last trip. Um, that was the last trip too. That was this is all from the last trip or two trips ago. Last trip. This is all last trip. These are the descriptions we were looking for. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep. So this is what we were looking at in the last trip, which was a couple days ago for you. Um, the glacier ski resort town, a small village, a small town. Yep, the big um, reservoir and a town with a with an airport. So we have no description at all for this leg. We do have the titles though, which is going to help. Okay, so let's get started here. Three thirty one on the heading bug, which is going to be down from where it is now. Three thirty one. There we go. So basically, yeah, we're going to back taxi in the direction we're headed and then go that way pretty easy and we're gonna do that for one whole minute <laughs> then we're gonna go to 344 right after that for a couple minutes so Irati that must be the town we're in and then that's another river or not river um lake thing so that's probably up here right um so we're probably looking for a town here and then a lake thing there that's probably what we're doing I'm guessing and then we'll do the rest of this movie are done so let's go out to no let's not go out to anything let's get our autopilot set up for heading bug um let's say 5,000 feet should be nice and low to the train and we'll climb if we need to we we'll probably will but we're gonna start at 5,000 feet we're gonna go to uh let's do a quick thousand feet per minute and there we go now let's take the parking brake off and look like forward taxi but it's actually gonna be a back taxi um, and then we'll head off in the other direction and we'll get out of here. So let's go all the way down here to what would be the threshold, I think. And then we'll conclude this bush trip, which has been okay. It's middle of the road for all the 20 some I've done. It's a bummer that the descriptions are all screwed up, but at least the heading and the timing and the title of the POIs are fine. But the rest is just a big wash. So. Anyway, I don't think we need the threshold, but we're going to use it. And then we'll take off here in just a moment. It'll be fun, I promise. And then, um... This might be a road. <laughs> this might not be the threshold. This might be a road. I just saw this turnaround-looking thing up here, so... No, this is it, because this would be a taxiway then. Okay, let's slow down without bonking the prop. There we go. There we go. That was scary as I'll get out. That was even with the yoke all the way back. Okie dokie. Let's turn. Whoa. Let's turn around here. Zero point turn, I see. That's good. And let's hop inside and do a little bit of a turn and burn. No, we're not going to do a turn and burn. But let's look out the side here. It torques to the left as it's supposed to. And a lot of. Why do we need so much right rudder right now? There we go. Oh my word. Okay. Jeez, there we go. We're under control, I think. There we go. And up we go. Break to stop the wheels. One flap coming in. And in a moment here, we'll do the other flap coming in. 
And um, I wanted to hand fly out of here, but he changed my mind. Let's immediately go to autopilot. There we go. So smooth, you can't even tell. Okie dokie. So we're going to go this way for a whole minute. Let it S curve its way out of here as we look around a little bit. Oh, that's a cool scene. That is such a cool scene. There's a river. I assume we're looking for a little town, probably. And then we'll... Oh, is that going to be Cliff Plateau? And then we'll turn and look for... What is that? That's cool. Like a train of houses. And then we'll look for that body of water, which is what I assume we're looking for. Alright, awesome. Um, let's go out the rest of our minute here. I need my stopwatch up. I didn't start my stopwatch, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. There's some roads with cars and some agriculture and a little villagey farmy thing. And we're about a minute out. Uh, not quite yet. All right, I said that's been a good minute after the cut there. So we're going to go, what was it? 344. So let's change this to 344. And we're going to go for about three and a half minutes, which again, I assume is that body of water. So when we get to the body of water, we'll read, not read, we'll look at the next thing. And then we'll um, go from there. So let's bring back props a little bit. I don't, shouldn't need to worry about conditioner management or fuel management at this altitude. As long as you don't run into the terrain, we'll be fine. I'll see you in a little bit. And just like that, we're about to head over our water, so let's hop outside and enjoy the view together a moment here as we get to this sprawling um, three-legged thing. It looks like a gigantic, gigantic dinosaur footprint that filled with water, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it look like a gigantic? Yeah, and look at that. It's dammed off, right? In fact, what is my dad joke of the day on the dad joke calendar? What did the bird say when he ran into the wall? No, wrong. It said, I just read it, I turned my head. It said, what did the fish say when it swam into the wall? Damn. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I can't even get the dad jokes right. Hey, you can see the water pouring out down there. Check that out. Sprung a leak. Alrighty, here we go. Let's stop the timer and reset it here. And let's see what it wants us to do next. Um... Next is 328, so let's go down to 328 here and do that for five and a half minutes. And it's UG, which is also the name of the POI, so up here somewhere would be UG. Um, on the thing, I don't see it, so must not be the biggest waypoint in the world if it's not on here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to see if you would see it as a waypoint. Okie dokie, we're going to do this for, what, five and a half minutes or something, and then we'll rejoin each other and see what that is. Okie dokie, see you in a little bit.
So we are going to climb because there's mountains in front of us and we turn to 323 and then 354. So we're basically heading right towards those mountains. So let's climb up to 7,000, I guess, for now and see if that'll, if that'll take care of it. So let's go up a little bit here. Let's see if we can handle 500 feet per minute and then I'll manage my conditioners as I need to. In fact, let's do that right now. Bring it back a little bit and it does go up. So conditioners back. There we go. We'll let the prop stay in the red for just a moment here. Um, yeah, let's climb over this and see how it goes. And uh, we're not quite ready to get to that UEG thing, whatever it is. I'm thinking it's, whoops, I'm thinking it's this body of water right here. We have about two minutes left. So I'm pretty sure that's where we're looking for right there. That mountain is that one. So it'll be next to that. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of course correction here. Um, just because I want to be able to see it. If we crest these hills here, we won't be able to see it. So a little bit more course correction. I'll see you when we get there. And just like that, through the magic of editing, we're there already. So let's go back to the sightseeing view we just had, which is here. And look at that. So I assume it's the town, or it could be the body of water. Probably the town. I don't know. There's a dam there, too. A lot of fish bonking their heads, probably. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Our altitude seems to have been a good choice, which is good. So what are we going to do next? In fact, we're not even there yet, so let's stop this here. Let's do Alt right here. Bam. 6200. We don't use that button very often, but I like it. I think we'll be okay. We'll be fine at 6200. Like a mine thing there or something. Alrighty, what is next? So that was... Um, what was that? It was... EG. So let's do 323 and get back on track here. Although we've recorrected based on a landmark. We're going to do this for five and a half minutes. And then we're going to San Testeban. San Testeban, which is something. A town, probably. I don't know. But that's where we're going. I'll see you in five and a half minutes, and we'll see what it is when we get there. Alright, so I assume based on timing and experience, we are aiming for this spot where all the rivers come together. They would say something about a confluence of rivers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but we're going to keep our altitude until our final little bit here because um, we still have some elevation around us. I'm pretty sure that's where we're going. San Sebastian, or San Sebastian in this case. Um, so I assume that's where we're going, but we have to get over all this train first. So we're going to continue at our altitude, which is 6200, and it seems to be working okay. A little bit of train turbulence, lens, but we're high enough. And it looks fantastic here. There's that tree line again. Remember, talk about tree lines. And there's a town there with the river leading to where we're going. But let's hop outside as we exit the Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Something like that. Pyrenees. Mountains. That border. Spain. 
in France, or Franc in Espagne. And look at that. And there we go. That's the soon that's the San Testabinan place. It's right there. And I bet it looks amazing. The quaint little town along the river. Without a bunch of tourists, hopefully. Or maybe there are a bunch of tourists. Okie dokie, time to put the toys away here and hop inside and see what's next after 323. We're gonna do 354 for 414 in Bera, which I assume is another little town. And then we'll look for our airport at San Sebastian. But anyway, we're looking for this town called what you call it, Bera, which I assume is a town. And it was five minutes out, four minutes out. So I'm assuming it's right here. But you know what happens when you assume? Do they still say that? I don't know. Enjoy the scenery. I'll see you in a minute. And our time is just about up, so if we go to this sightseeing view, we'll see there's a town there with some industry or something and a river. So that's what we're looking for. That's Bera. Let's, um, whoops, what am I doing? Too many things at once. Let's restart the timer. And let's head to the airport, which I think we see. Yep, Sierra Oscar. What do they want us to do? I'm just curious. 314. Let's follow the river on down. So what we're going to do... Um, is we are going to maybe follow this valley here. Um, they need to lose some altitude. But at the same time, we have terrain in front of us. I could fly the valley. Let's see, that airport's pretty close too, isn't it? If you zoom in. Um... If, uh, let's come out here. Whoa, that wow, got all screwed up. Let's see. Now nah, we're pretty high, actually. We're way above the train. So let's just kill autopilot. And let's hand fly this in. Come on, Trim. Quick, you know, screwy. Um, come on, Trim. It's so weird when you let off autopilot. All right. Um, throttles down so we don't overspeed. Yeah, we can descend. Let's head towards the valley. And then we'll spot that airport. And then set up for a landing at the airport. Shouldn't be too challenging. I think that's the airport right there along the water. Very, very long runway. I see the threshold and the touchdown zones are ready. Yep. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So our airport heading is 90 degrees off of where we are. So let's put this to that second tick. Like that. And that's our airport um, orientation, I should say. So let's take advantage of all this open space, bring back throttles because I'm pushing on the yoke pretty hard. We're going to overspeed. I'm going to take advantage of all this space, go out to that beach along the water, and we'll come in for landing. So San Sebastian, which is awesome. Saint Sebastian, I believe. Um, and maybe Saint is San, I can't remember. Santo, yeah, I think it's San means Saint, Saint Sebastian. And we'll land. I don't know anything about this place, but that beach looks insanely amazing and inviting. Um, it's just so freaking cool. My 11-year-old in school, to conclude his school year, which was actually, by the time you watch this, they've already started school probably for the next year. But as I record this, they haven't finished the previous year. So to finish the previous year, 
They need to write about their dream summer vacation. Which I think is a terrible tease for children because then you write about your dream summer vacation and most kids can't go on their dream summer vacation and that is what my kid is struggling with. Even though we are going to Cancun, which as you watch this we already went like a month ago, but as I record this we haven't gone yet, he doesn't care. He wants to go to Florida and he wants to swim with the sharks and he wants to do all these things in Florida. But um we're not we're going to Cancun so far. Subject to change, of course, but um as you watch this it's already been done. Let's come down now for our base leg. And boom, and there's one bounce because that's just how this plane is. Rudders. Whoa, what did I just do? Did I just take out? Do you see that hill? Oh my gosh, did you see that hill? That was literally like a skateboard ramp. That was crazy, but it kept it under control. That was weird. Let's not smash the rudder of the props into the ground as we stop here. And that was very strange. Okie dokie. Anyway, let's stop here. Thank you. Let's see how long this took. It's supposed to be two and a half hours. There is no snow on the ground right now. What is this? It's supposed to take two and a half. It took three and a half. It took an hour longer than it's supposed to because that's how we roll here on the Tall Turtle channel. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed things about my story time during bush trip time. And um, subscribe so you know when the next bush trip comes out. And like it so everybody else knows we exist. And I'll see you next time. That's all there is to it.